Um, I know that you're both here. Uh, Danny, you're a wonderful, wonderful artist. We had a wonderful time last summer. Yes, we did. Um, are you exhibiting here at Old Hampton? Yeah, I think, yes, I, I have a few paintings with Bill Hodges' gallery. Wonderful. Yeah, so, you know, I've shown with him before in the city. It's the first time I've been out here and been represented at Art Hamptons, but it's kind of cool. I love this space. It's fantastic. What it do you really think is. of the um, galleries and the art that's on display this year? You know, I just did a walkthrough and I looked through it as I was coming over here. and I think some of the art is really, really, really good. Uh, I don't know, you know, I haven't had a time to, to do the whole thing, but it's set up nice. It's very... I mean, I was very impressed when I walked inside of this tent. I was like, oh, okay, I'm glad to be a part of this. Quite a number of international galleries here as well, particularly those from across the pond from London. I know, um, I know. How do you think the aesthetic is between international artists and national artists, particularly here in the Hamptons, and the receptions they receive from patrons? I, I think it's pretty much the same. I think people don't really respond to where someone comes to. They respond to good artwork. And so, you know, and the issues that artists are dealing with and, and the aesthetics they're dealing with are international issues. They, I mean, where you're from, it doesn't really define what type of art you make, you know. So I, what I see is really great artists here from all over the world, and I think that they're representing what they do very well. That's terrific. And welcome, Russell. Thank, Thank you for you. being here with us. Happy to be and, here. Um, I know that both your, your uh, foundation is involved with Art for Life. I can link with that again this year. Absolutely. This year, um, Art for Life is uh, probably as good as ever. We, we are, we're honoring Ed Norton and Mary J. Blige and Tamara Mellon. You know Tamara Mellon is from Jimmy Choo. And a number of uh, are very important, I should say, because they're the money guys, they're being honored as well. There's a couple of very not, not notable in the, in the business world, but not you know, famous. We also we have Gwyneth Paltrow and Uma Thurman who are co-chairing, which means, you know, more celebrity, and more celebrity brings more money. And so it feels really good. Uh, also, we're having a, a, a big gallery event at Bonhams. And what's special about that, we have many uh, very um, accomplished fine artists who've given us works on paper and, and other work that are uh, very special, some paintings and some, some prints, but just still very, very valuable work by uh, many famous artists, so that's very inspiring because that's the art community getting involved in our art foundation, and that's going to raise us a lot of money again. So we're underwriting art education uh, practice opportunities uh, for inner city students, and that for me is a great, great thing. I, I don't think I'd be here without art. Uh, Danny probably wouldn't be, I don't know if he'd admit to that, but he wouldn't be here either. He'd probably be somewhere else. The mentorship that's involved with Possibly the even jail, for all I know. So, <laughs> so, 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 so. Never, Danny, never. No, never. I was a good, I was a good you kid. Were, you would just create, create art on the walls in yourself. That's well, right. Well, we're, we're suggesting that we would be, where he would be without art and a chance to practice and appreciate it in school. Gave him a chance to, you know, start to dream. And, and our parents, a, of course. And, yeah, but to imagine himself outside of the, the, uh, uh, the struggle that, you know, that young people find themselves in. I think that's very important. And the, the emphasis that is on mentorship with the foundation. Danny, are you involved personally as an artist with any of the mentorship uh, programs with the foundation? A lot more in the early years when we were starting it, but we really have a, a, a large cadre of wonderful teaching artists that we send into the schools and that come into our galleries and work with the kids firsthand. I'm sort of more like a role model for the kids of what you could be. I always stop in, I always speak to the kids, but I'm not really there teaching them how to paint. We have people who've been trained to teach kids how to paint, and we pick the best of the best artists, and we support them not only as teachers, but also in their art practices. You know, they have shows at our galleries, and the kids have shows at our galleries, and then we have a wonderful program called Gallery in a School, where we go into New York City school system, and we take over a classroom in the school where we're teaching artists, uh, with the teaching artists, and the kids create their own art gallery. They become the artists, they become the curators, and they become the docents. So they're able to talk about art, they're able to create art, and they're able to present art to the public. And so we do that in about five or six different city schools. So, you know, it's a wonderful program where the kids have such a huge experience with art. It's such a commendable, commendable foundation. Thank you. Thank and I know today you're here doing a book signing. Would you like to discuss the book for a moment? No, I, I, it's kind of awkward that the book is here. The book's about consciousness. But I guess art and uh, fine art makes you look inside. I mean, that's the expression comes from inside. The book is about the journey in. It's about consciousness and about, uh, you know, it's kind of a prosperity book because if you want, those people who operate in calm spaces seem to do well on the outside as well. But 
it's about the journey inward, and it's called Super Rich. And so I agreed to sign books as well. But I realized that my brother's book is about fine art, which I think is much more interesting for this get, this particular event. His will probably sell more though. <laughs> mine is mine's already ten weeks bestseller. Well, that's I know. That's what I'm saying. Mine, <laughs> I think. I, mine is, but it's a different subject matter. <laughs> Danny and I will address this to you as as if artists. Um, Given the competition for wall space, particularly here in the Hamptons, where many, many, many local and very, very skilled and sophisticated and talented local artists are vying for the limited wall space, what would be your recommendation to emerging artists that have decided to locate themselves here in the Hamptons? The same recommendation I would give to emerging artists anywhere. Find a wall, put some art on it, get a bottle of wine and make an invitation. Any place is an art gallery as long as you get the people there and you got the art on the walls. You don't need a formal art gallery. That's how we started. I started in my home. Russell and I built an art gallery out in my brownstone in Bedford-Stuyvesant and that's where we started this thing at, in my home in Bedford-Stuyvesant and it grew to be what it is now. But any place is an art gallery. As long as you get people there and as long as you put art up, that's where you should start. And we do hope to see your work again on some of the local galleries here in the Hamptons. Uh, Thank you so much, John. Thank you. Okay. It's a pleasure. You're welcome.